Hey everyone, it's Hindash, and I'm here with the one and only Huda Katan from Huda Beauty. Hi. We have been planning this for such a long time. I'm dying it, to do it. It's been insane. I mean, we've met, I think we met in 2016, 17. Yeah. I did your makeup. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was so happy. I mean, we, we really go way back, mm -hmm. and you trusted me back then, and yeah. I barely, like, I was barely doing any makeup. I was barely doing any beauty on social media yeah. and we did a photo shoot and it was beautiful you were just an artist then i was just an and artist and now you're an artist and more <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i really can't wait for you guys to see this look that i did on huda and i mean it's huda beauty the one and only <laughs> oh. and this is a match made in heaven mm -hmm. I, and I, I would say so yeah <laughs> <laughs> we just filmed this really beautiful look but we also have really amazing conversations yeah. and i think it's gonna be amazing to watch so i hope you enjoy and i mean what can i say it's huda beauty <laughs> <laughs> we're here with huda beauty uh, <laughs> and dash and huda and, Dash and, Huda. and, Dash and, and Huda. I mean, stay tuned for exciting things. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows More what we come. say, what I we know. do. <laughs> I know, and what's to come. And what's to come. <laughs> and enjoy, keep watching. So we need to talk a bit about the look we're doing today. But what not not too much because I like to go as, you know, yeah. played by ear. Okay. But just I want the very, Dash look. I want a, a very sculpted look. Yeah, your looks are so sculpted. A lot of mattes, yeah. shimmer only where needed. Okay. And we're just going to go for it. All right. Yeah. I'm and a lot of conversation. Okay. I just want the snatched, yes, 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 tindash, glamorous yeah. look. Okay, perfect. Like the Middle Eastern yeah. look has changed because of you. It's crazy. I mean, when I started doing makeup, a lot of the makeup artists that were already working on the field with other brands right. are telling me like, "Oh, you're so talented, but yeah. you know, you should go for it yeah. because you're not showing your full potential." Yeah, why didn't? But you? I'm like, no, they're talking about the looks. Oh, <laughs> so I was like, wait, put, why? Put why do you have to go more? No, because oh, that was that was what was trending back then. No. Like, this is what but how I do it, yours. and this is because yeah. it's very hard to hold yeah. back and to know when to right. like. Right, but you're an artist. To go, But yeah. you're an artist. It's, it's you want to so, know my hack here? Yeah, I'm okay. starting off with the foundation. So right. this is the Fall Filter Foundation. Fall Filter. Two pumps. I'm going to see pumps. if I'm going to add more, but okay. I usually like to thin it out. Yeah, two pumps is more than enough. Okay. So let me tell you about the mix I do. Tell me. So this was a trick my e-com team showed mm -hmm. me. It's going to look gross, so just trust the process. I trust the process. So I put about way more. It two doesn't pumps. mix well. Okay. It doesn't mix oh. well at all. It's gonna it's look fine. like gunky and weird, but what it does to your complexion, mm, look see, try. it looks gross. It looks like a drop in serum foundation. I'm so nervous because Tendash is so beautiful <laughs> complexion. And you know, spoiler, I've already tried the concealers and I'm so in love with them. So. Hindash loves one of our complexion products. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you know what I'm also, what? what I feel like makes a big difference? What? Brushes. Oh, of course, 100%. The tools are everything. Okay, so when you put this on your eyes, where you're gonna love it. Okay, I will. I so, so what I do is I like to really buff it into the brush. Mm -hmm. So like you have like an even mm -hmm. coat. Then I like to go in with as little as I can. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. So what I like to do, and you said you don't wear a lot of foundation. No. I want to see basically how far I can get away with mm -hmm. the formula on its own doing right. its job with as little as I as I need. Mm. Yeah, you like to see skin. I like to see skin so I can cover it later with concealer. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, like we're, I love to do creams. I love mm. to do cream contour. I love to do cream bronzer and cream blush. Mm -hmm. So that's already like adding another layer. Hendash was showing me the way he organizes his makeup. Oh my god. I've yeah. never seen anything more amazing in my entire life. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I spent over. yesterday doing? What? I was depotting the uh, bronzers mm. and the contours. Mm. So I was doing Tantor, I was doing some of the sticks. I don't want to think of like, oh, which palette am I using? Which mm -hmm. highlighter am I using? Like, obviously I love to try new makeup. But it makes sense because you're an artist. Like, and looking yeah. around your house, there's art everywhere. You're painting all the time. Well, you said you haven't painted in a while, right? I haven't painted in a while, but I mean, I paint faces. So mm. that might... Yeah, <laughs> you just changed your canvas. Yeah. <laughs> She's, you, she's staring at a painting of Wait a second, like is it, stairs. did you make it symmetric? Did you make the side symmetric? No, so that's the interesting thing about my it's theme is that you the... can't achieve symmetry. Right. So even when you place all of them together, it just looks like a face that's repeating. Right. So it looks distorted. Right, it does. I feel like when you're not wearing makeup, 
like I actually feel like sometimes to some degree you look more beautiful like all of us look great without makeup which is why I think when you wear makeup it's really important to put it on the right way because otherwise it can actually make you look worse like you need the yeah. makeup when you really don't need the makeup yeah it's also like people think I'm, I go very natural with yeah. a lot of things but I also find that with concealer again I'm talking about concealer because I love, love concealer. concealer when are we getting a Hindash concealer <sighs> it's gonna take a while okay. but. so honestly the foundation looks amazing Do you like it I really like it I've put a very thin layer mm. but then this is where the concealer comes to play yeah. but before concealer which is something that i kind of not forget but sometimes i switch around yeah i'll either do straight in with bronzer and contouring mm -hmm. and i feel like i always like that better mm. when i go into the creams first and then i conceal what needs to be concealed because keep in mind like when you're bronzing the face you're also getting rid of a bit of that surface redness it's mm -hmm. gonna blend in with with the redness so you're gonna yeah in, in return you're gonna use less Concealer. I also feel for like the layering, you want the light to be on top of the dark. Yeah. Not the dark to be yes. on top of the light. I can't wait for you to do my eyes. I like love the Hindash eyes. That's my Like thing. the lifting, the snatching. Yeah. I love it. So another trick that I love to do is... <gasps> this is the palette you just made. The palette I just wait, made. Wait guys, look what he made. Like so can you has, please sell this? <laughs> I know, but just make, make it in the in my living room. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of these are Tantor, a lot of them are sticks yeah. and You're saying there so is the, also the, the, what, the, the, what are they called? The flash sticks? The Fenty match sticks. Match sticks. And match I sticks. think there's a bit of the Mario sticks in here. Oh, cool. But I think maybe putting them like this would change the texture because yeah. I love to use the brush oh, because really? it has foundation. Foundation, so it's mm. gonna really like blend it even more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn especially, so much Especially, especially if something's like dry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, did you guys know Hindash is not his first name? It's his last name. They're like we know. Oh <laughs> no, but nobody no, knows I'm, that. I'm sure, I'm sure people don't know that. I I'm didn't sure, know that, yeah, sure and I, I followed you for years. Yeah, and I know you. Sense. I think the last name is so cool. It's such a. Cool That's a pretty last cool name. name. It's such a cool yeah. name, Hindash. So see how just mm, the bronzer alone like really adds that extra step. I feel like I'm Hindashing. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I do like a lot of weird tricks with my powder. I'm really weird about my powder. Yeah, I'll get very weird when I like do when I cover my under eyes. Mm, I yep. kind of go in with a bit of blush or with a bit of bronzer mm. to kind of make it look like I didn't really cover them. I feel like you're so beautiful that you could actually make this a trend. I like mean, I want the Hindash under eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like bronzer around your eyes yeah, to darken yeah, yeah. your dark blush, circles. Wait, because you guys are starting your brand now. Mm -hmm. Are you guys up all the time? Do you sleep right now? I used to, I used to like be up all the time, but now I've, I feel like with the brand, I've learned that I need to like have limits, have limits, boundaries. And yeah. that's actually when I started going to the gym, like that was my escape in the that's morning just so I can have like time mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. And it's like small things like that. I What's guess. been the hardest thing for you? I think the hardest thing is working the way I used to work mm -hmm. pre-brand. And like, yeah. I feel like I can't just sit and create looks all the time. There's always something in the back of my head. Yeah. But I mean, I have to navigate. Yeah, you that. have to manage that because it's important That's not to lot. lose yeah, who you course. are. Yeah. Are you giving me the Hindash dark circles? No, not okay, yet. Okay, I thought you put it on my eyes. I was like, wait, I'm not, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm ready. Another thing that I'm very particular about is nose contour. Ooh, me too. I'm very particular about nose contour. And it oh does, my God, it disclaimer. Kind of, it kind of starts now, but it doesn't. Disclaimer. Because it's like a lot. So what is your, your tip for nose contouring? Okay, so I feel like nose contouring gets a lot of bad rep mm. and it kind of gets taken into very multiple different directions because yeah. we all have completely different noses. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a universal, like nose contouring 101 would be doing the tip mm -hmm. underneath yep. and then just over here. Mm. Because this is where things get tricky when you start doing the two stripes and it becomes like a nosy. That's what I do. I, get a, I have a nosy nose. Yeah, but you don't. You really <laughs> don't. And this is where powder comes in, mm -hmm, right. concealer comes in. Yeah, concealer is actually one of the best products to contour. Oh yeah. I feel like nowadays I'm actually just using concealer mm -hmm. to just reverse contour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like so much better. Okay, so going in with concealer, mm -hmm. this is the new full filter. I also, I mean, we t briefly talked about this, is placement. Mm -hmm. And not just placement, but how much you're using. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you'll be surprised, like doing a bit more than you think you need yeah. will give you that smooth look. Definitely. Definitely. And I feel like it'll really let the formula do its job. And because we did go light with the base, this will create that layer that's not going to be sitting on top of other things and being a bit too much. 
another thing I want to talk about is I also feel like sometimes packaging mm -hmm. can persuade you yeah. whether you want to use something or not. 100%. Or like how often you use something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, there's something about just like having something in a tube, even though yeah. I love, like that worked for me as a makeup artist because I can Which just squeeze it out. Oh yeah. yeah, I agree, yeah. I agree. It was better for makeup artists and like, yeah. um, you know, the reason why we did a tube was because I'm, I'm a germaphobe. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the idea of dipping a product yeah, 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 in yeah, yeah. and like, you know, just air, bacteria, yeah. all these things. But um, consumers actually do prefer, exactly. you know, a tube. And that's why we also didn't make it too long or too big. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect size. Yeah, it's a perfect size. So it's enough to where it's like a good value, but also yeah. like, you know, it's not going to be there for like years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should create a page that's called Only Pans. And Only we Pans. <laughs> <laughs> and we oh depot everything. I would pay so much money to right? watch you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just hands of like. <laughs> Why don't you open that up on yeah. OnlyFans? <laughs> oh my god, that I would swear I'd pay so much money to watch you do that. So I'm gonna take a bit more. Mm -hmm. And before I go in with the brighter shade, the highlighter one, I wanna do cream blush. Mm. So just in case what things. What cream blush do you like to use? I you mix have so a many lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm oh going to do a mix of the blush sticks and my lipstick. Mm. Because oh. I want to do a peachy look on you. Okay, so Hindash has this lipstick that I'm obsessed with. Yay. Literally, I opened it up like, I want to say like a few days mm -hmm, ago. Mm -hmm. And I put it on. I was, I literally told him, I was like, <gasps> I need to talk about this on the internet. And they were like, can you wait? Let's make a bigger yeah. deal out of this. And I was yeah. like, oh my God, it's so good. So, I love it, I'm going to take two little peachy babies. Wait, you have to show how peach yours is. Okay, it's very peach. It's like- It's so peachy. It's like kind of orange. It's it's basically, it's a like lot a of light. orange in it. Yeah. Right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it oh. up so you can see how like- oh, I love it so much. And it's just with so like gorgeous. a lip a lip liner would be so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then this has a bit of shimmer in it, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. So I'm yeah, gonna so small pearls. mix them in together. Mm -hmm. So guys, I think this question is probably on everyone's minds and everyone watching this. Um, and it's, what would a Huda and Hendash collab product be? I mean, I love this question oh because I feel like we can, the possibilities are endless. But if we what say it now, do? then... What would you want to do? I like, would love... I mean, I would love... I see it happening as eyes and lip. Mm. But a complexion product could be cool because... Yeah. I don't have complexion. Yeah. What would you do for complexion? I don't know. <laughs> See, complexion is very hard. Yeah. Would you do like a blush? No, I wouldn't no. do a blush. What I would need you do? something more exciting. Okay. I, I mean, feel like an eye would make so much sense. Oh, for sure. Like, for me, the liquid lipsticks are some of my favorites. Really? Yeah, and oh. they've been my favorites since they launched. I feel like the formula is just... Would you do some shades? Some shade extensions there? I would love to do a lipstick, yeah. Let's do it! Yeah. Oh my God, look at my complexion. So I did a bit of the oh, blush it. all around. I love it. Because I love to add a bit of that. I love it. And then this is where we get into brightening. So we add a touch of, we said graham cracker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And taking it into, into here in the corners makes a big difference. Mm. It really brightens that too. And with the lighter concealer, I just like do a bit of touches everywhere. Mm -hmm. Not as much as the first base, but just, you know, sprinkles yeah a lot of concealer Target. like layering like yeah really strategic layering and then blending mm. i love your complexion and this is so beautiful mm, thank you so gorgeous i'm using an unreleased product mm -mm. on the eyes as a base when is it coming out hopefully end of summer oh my god that's around the corner i know oh my god I'm using my eye tone pencil mm. in intro, which is a chocolate brown. You didn't set the concealer yet? Not yet. Oh. Yeah. What? Not yet. Yeah. Because I like to, you know, take my time. Okay. And then in the end, I'm like, okay. seal everything. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. If you guys could pick one product to do a full face with, what would it be? <laughs> I know your answer. Can concealer. you guess mine? <laughs> concealer. <laughs> Can you guess mine? There's no answer because that would be crazy. <laughs> I need at least yeah, 10 products. Yeah, no. I, I think, like even with me, I technically wouldn't say concealer because right. brows are very important Right, that's the thing. And this I feel is like if I question. have my brows, I can pull off my natural under eye thing that I'm trying yeah. to pull off with God knows Wait, what. Wait, is it one product but many shades? No. No, just one product. Right? No. Just one product? I don't like the question. 
I feel like you're trying to offend us. Next question. Did you wait, wait, wait? Did you hear about this technique, which I still want to do? You know, maybe the butopsy palette, the first butopsy palette, because you could do a full face. Technically, you can do a you could do a full face of that. Full face. Okay, fine, we'll do that. But otherwise, you're pissing us off with that question. But 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 wait, wait. So there's a technique, Mm -hmm. and there's a thing going on with drag queens that Mm -hmm. apparently you can do a full face of makeup with a brown. Brown or burgundy see this. pencil. This. You can get away with doing brows, lips, eyes, contour, blush. What? With a burgundy. Okay, I need to see this. Yeah. I, that makes sense though, because you yeah. can do like the blush contour. But like, how do you look at the end? Probably a bit crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but see, like drag queens nowadays, their makeup is so amazing. Mm-hmm. Like when I went to when I was shooting, I was shooting for um, uh, resting boss face. Uh huh. And we were shooting with these gorgeous drag queens, and mm. I was like, okay, I'm so nervous. And I looked up some like older pictures of drag queens. Yeah. And then I showed up with like really bad makeup, mm-hmm. and they were like all looking at me, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm not done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I went. I was like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah. I was like, the drag community have oh like god. come, like their makeup has just developed and come up so. I feel like it's better oh, yeah. than. Yeah, and they've dictated a lot of the trends. It's right? better than like any makeup out there yeah you know they've dictated the trends like celebrities like learn yeah. most of their makeup so many makeup artists from it's drag crazy queen. i treat this as a base it's mm-hmm. not like because it's still very creamy it's very like emollient there's a lot of give with these pencils and mm-hmm. i wanted it like this specifically because i like to layer my my looks i like mm-hmm. to do creams then powders and this just gives me that extra layer i love the layering that you do it like makes a difference cream. like when it when it gets all because most people would set with powder yeah and then this would be drier to work on so you wouldn't get that that yeah creaminess yeah yeah it's so pretty i mean i still go in like i touch up the blush and stuff mm-hmm. in the end but uh, i depotted my palette which <laughs> it's a bit massive now but i oh, want to buy all your palettes sell them to me yeah. please okay. what can i how can i get them from you <laughs> i want them so bad you have all my palettes I know, but I want the like this. Ones. I want oh, yeah. the depotted. I want the. No, I'm coming over and we're doing okay, this. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Guys, whenever we can, I need another pee break. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'll do this and then we can. Oh my god, we were shooting the other day and I like was wearing the. Feel a little like Hindashi mm. right now. This is layer one. I feel like <laughs> I feel snatched. Ooh, layer one. How many layers are there? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> like, so what are you good. doing to me? I feel like this is like very like old school glam. Like so now I'm going I'm in with the vibing. mustard, and this is basically the mustard is going to mimic more of the skin tone, so it's creating like a depth, oh. but not too deep yet. Oh. And then I go in to more of that chocolatey side, mix it with the browns, and I always like to push that liner and blend it into everything. Mm. Oh, look at mm. that left. Uh, <laughs> okay, so where's the one the powder that, now? That's why I don't powder. No, I'm not powdering yet. What are you doing? I'm just moving things around. Oh my God. You were the first to do what you did here and you were the first from to pave the way. Yeah. From a brand perspective. And you paved the way for not just creators, but I feel like influencers yeah. and beauty entrepreneurs. And it's... I can't imagine how crazy of a ride it's been. The main thing that sets you apart is you clearly did it out of a passion Mm -hmm. because there wasn't a mold to follow. Yeah. But what would you change about the the industry here? I mean, honestly, I I see a lot of brands and I need a story. Mm -hmm. Like what's, how did this come to be? Mm -hmm. What is the inspiration? What gap are you filling? Right. And what are you trying to say? From my perspective, like for me in the Middle East, I think... I think women in the Middle East and men, I think people in the Middle East are so beautiful. Oh, yeah. And I think that sometimes, like, we, we're also so trend driven. Mm-hmm. So we, like, jump on trends really quickly. But mm-hmm. I think that we should just, like, start embracing a lot more of the, the Arabic beauty. Um, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you see that Middle Eastern under eye, cat eye that, like, uh, Painted by Spencer did and yeah. he made viral. Yeah. And, I, and a lot of people are like, that's Middle Eastern. And yeah. I'm like, we don't, we don't enough, like. Yeah. You know talk about the beauty that we have in this part of the world i remember when i was blogging a long time ago i remember like this distinct piece of feedback mm-hmm. and i was i just given birth and nor was oh. colic she was super colic so i was like breastfeeding oh. and like also like trying to blog at the same time mm-hmm. and it was really hard 
And I remember like being exhausted. Like I was sleeping like sometimes, I kid you not, an hour a wow. night. Yeah. I thought I was going to die from like Gross. exhaustion. And uh, I was still trying to like blog. I was like breastfeeding and like falling oh asleep. God. Like I was like, I'd fall asleep like this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember like one person like commented on my blog and they were like, didn't you write about this already? You've become really boring. And I was oh like, God. no, but it dawned on me at that point that nobody really cares that you're busy, that you have things going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like you need to give people what they need or you just need to say, I'm not going to do it. Uh -huh. And I should have probably taken a break as opposed mm -hmm. to keep mm -hmm, trying, mm -hmm. you know, to, to post. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And I thought that piece of feedback was really interesting. I was like, people know I'm exhausted because yeah. like the content is uninspired. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's very interesting. It was really interesting. Yeah, I mean, Nora was just born then, so it was like literally crazy. Like 11 uh, years ago. Crazy. Yeah. So can you come here every day? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll do my makeup. <laughs> we'll come in the morning. <laughs> do you have a lip balm or something that you like to use? I mean, I always I use do. Okay, this is icy and spicy. Whoa. So they're plumpers. So I actually mix them mm. and it makes sure it's way too big, but that's so what I do. I mix them. I'm, this is like, I'm so obsessed with these. I'm so obsessed. Okay. I can't wait. So there's a hot one. Mm -hmm. Actually has cayenne pepper. Okay. And there's the icy one. Um, it's supposed to be like a cryo effect, but I think it has like peppermint and all those things in it. As I say, the first one has Szechuan pepper. Szechuan Ooh. pepper, sorry. And that one has fenugreek. Fenugreek. I'm drawn to the, to this. The blue one. It's not as intense as this one. I put that one on before I go to bed. Mm. My lips are already massive, so I would put just like. So I put it on because I put filler in my lips, but mm -hmm. I just love the effect that your lips yeah, look yeah, when yeah. they're like kind of all swollen. And a lot of people swear by lip plumper and then it's just a bit of um, a bit of lip liner. Mm. Oh, did you like... want me put this on now or after? Yeah, now, now, now. Okay. Because we can use that as like a nice hydrator. Yeah. So I mix a bit of the cool tones together, and I go over where I did the cream. I soften it a bit, but mm. for now. Mm -hmm. That so is a nice little contour. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So I'll start with this first. Yeah. Do a bit of the peach. Mm. Original Beautopsy, right? Or no, it's the new one. That's a mix. Oh, you moved yeah. them around. I'm, I put both of them here. Oh, you so moved them So I can around. just like work freely. Mm. Interesting. I really want to steal this palette. It's I'll missing. make one for you. Mm, yeah. I really want yeah, it. Yeah, I'll make one for you. Oh my god, I feel like you should sell it like on a pro level. I know. We're gonna use cute little new blush. Yeah. Love the color. Lunch I'll... is August. I love anything peachy, mm -hmm. yummy. By the way, I love this brush too. For, uh -huh. for Isn't creams. it so good? It's my favorite. It's cream my favorite. bronzer, cream yeah, blush. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, the, the powder used to highlight. Oh. The lighter one. Glowish, yeah. Yeah. We have it. It's it's a really subtle okay. highlight, but I like to use it. I use it. I want you to use do, it for highlighting. I want you to do mascara. Okay. So there you go. go for it. Okay, sure. So this will go over the cheek. I usually line, put it. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I haven't worn mascara in so long because I've just been wearing fake lashes. Hmm. I haven't worn mascara in so long. Hmm. Just been wearing false lashes. Pretty much in the center, going out. Because then I want to see, like, this is this looks perfect on its own. Just these two. Mm -hmm. If you want to go for that look, like two, that's it. But then I want to, yeah, do more. Do you like them? I love them. They're honestly. really nice, right? They're really, really nice. I want to add a tiny bit I of shimmer, even though I like it all night. What you did with the lashes so much. This They're is so, so beautiful. The lashes, honestly, I'm not it's joking. So beautiful. I need, Everything. I need supplies. I will. We will give you so many I of them. Need, yeah. You'll be drowning in them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'll do this. I just want that like scattered shimmer. Isn't it weird how shimmers always work better with fingers? Oh my god. Doesn't 100%. matter. Doesn't no, matter 100%. what shimmer that is. Yeah. It's just not the same. I love this. Oh. And that's mm -hmm. no lip yet, but oh look at that gloss on the I lip. Love we it should so have we should put the gloss on top. Mm-hmm. I feel so like hand dash right now. <laughs> like I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. Wait, there are no more I questions. I love that you did That's a classic it. pencil. Yeah. Look, I really love, I was very torn because I loved both formulas. And I love the formula you did. Mm. But there was something about like this. I love a classic fit more pencil. with like my, yeah. my, 
my aesthetic mm-hmm. and like my brand and I always loved mm-hmm. the classic wood. Mm-hmm. Let me just take a break here. Mm-hmm. So I'm using my manifesto lipstick in Call Me Peaches and this is the um, Ultra Matte. My favorite shade. It's so good. Mm-hmm. The very peachy apricot undertones that's going to really liven up tan skin. And that's exactly the color I wanted because I struggled finding those undertones, especially for like Middle Eastern skin tones, Mm -hmm. that would be vivid and just brighten up the face. Because a lot of the nudes that were peachy nudes on the market felt very neutral when I put them on. And it didn't have like a vibrancy. Mm -hmm. So that's Call Me Peaches. I literally put it on and I was like, oh my god. It's so, it's so pretty. So beautiful. Wow, and Josh, this is so beautiful. Mm so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. Beauty Mark again. Mm-hmm. Right. I didn't our, even know I had a Beauty Mark there. Yeah. You do now. Well, like, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm looking for them. Like, where are the rest of the Beauty yeah. Marks? Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. And we're just going to do some finishing touches and get back ah. on camera. <laughs> 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 now I like brother and sister. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this beautiful look that I did on Huda. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. And if you guys want to see a part two, yeah, Yeah. I mean, who knows? (laughs) There might be more coming on TikTok and other places, so we'll leave all the links down below. And stay tuned. Bye, guys. Bye.